Nujabi's handmade watercolor papers are an item we've carried for many years here at Jerry's, and there's a specific reason why people really enjoy using a handmade watercolor paper over a traditional mold-made watercolor paper. Uh, one of the things that I think is probably the most unique is that each sheet is unique. <laughs> they each have a unique deckled edge because they are handmade, and you'll find that if you get multiple sheets, no sheet is, they're like a snowflake, no sheet is exactly like any other. They come in really cool sizes, you know, this is a, um, a marine size, you know, so that very landscape, uh, almost Panavision, and uh, also right here, 16 inch diameter circle, uh, really, really nice. And you can see the, these are hand deckled edges because they're handmade papers. And the minor imperfections in the surface that, that, that come, it's really part of the character that uh, makes the paper so interesting. I will say that you want to be careful when you're using a handmade paper. They're going to be a little bit more fragile than a traditional mold-made watercolor paper, so they won't take to uh, scrubbing as well. Um, you want to be careful with the surface. And also, uh, it's important to note that uh, they will buckle, so you want to make sure that you tape them down very well or don't do heavy washes. But let me just kind of get some color going here and see if I can show you what that surface looks like because the white paper alone So they come in several different presses, and the presses for a handmade paper are not the same as they are for a traditional mold-made paper. So just if you look um, at the details in the copy of the, of the item, of the uh, write-up of the item, we kind of go into a little bit more of explanation of what the surface will feel like. The, the soft cold press is going to be more of a traditional feeling cold press that you're probably used to, where the medium rough is going to be a little bit rougher than a cold press. Um, so just keep that in mind that the, the presses for a handmade paper are considered a little, little different. This product, we're using them for things like pastels. Um, they make a really nice alternative to traditional pastel paper. Just like pastel paper, mold made, kind of uniform, they still have tooth to it, and so you can get some really nice pastel effects. So what I'll show you here is I just have some, these are some Mungio handmade pastels, just to kind of show you how they would uh, lay down on that paper. And the colors really go down nicely. Get some viridian here. Very inexpensive, I mean really reasonably priced paper too. Um, to use. And then we brought up some of these uh, Charvin water-soluble pastels because, well, let's try some water-soluble pastels on uh, watercolor paper. And these really do a great job of showing you the tooth and the, uh, the texture of the paper because unlike the watercolor, they're going to show you where those gaps lie. Mesmerizing, I can do it for hours. And then the last thing I'll show you is the handmade watercolor journal that comes with uh, 25 sheets of 130 pound handmade paper. And you can see each page, I mean this is where you really can see when you see a stack of the paper is, is unique. The decal of the edge, each sheet has a unique characteristic. We had uh, a little bit of art done here uh, on the first page to kind of show you but uh, a beautiful handmade watercolor journal for all your artistic endeavors. So Nujabi watercolor papers, handmade watercolor papers, great product you can try.